I got it. What's going on over there? Second chance. I mean, this is their lot. So they can park. This is our lot. So we can park however we want to park. So this is our lot. So we can use it however we see it fit. This is our lot. So we can use it however we see it fit. <laughs> exactly. Bike, fellow. You know, I think about the wall. We're gonna apply it to the same way with the car. The law doesn't work the same way with the bike as it is with the car. The car is more dangerous, more lethal, more destructive. So they have more laws to make sure you to make sure people driving. Safely. Safely, safely. Safely, safely. Washington South, Washington. <laughs> publicly accessible areas this publicly accessible areas this is the uh, publicly accessible areas it's publicly accessible areas so we should be able to use that whatever how everyone is use it and really we'll try to record it as uh, you know as I'm gonna record it as long as this battery will allow me to see how, how long this is gonna go. Some people say it's 90 minutes, but this battery has been it's not been charged for the last uh, it's not been charged for the last uh, an hour or so, two hours probably. But it's not been used. It's been used maybe for 10 minutes here and there but uh, the, the maximum recording I've done with this battery so far one time charge is about 20 minutes so that means I have additional from the 90 minutes if the maximum is 90 minutes minus 20 so I still have a bunch of minutes left There's another spot right there. I can park over here too. Can I park over here? Or should I move down to the place? Maybe I go down there. Backing into the spot, go around me. Good job, good job, Toyota. That's <laughs> what I was supposed to do. Some people they just stand behind you all day and wait, holding up traffic. I normally take less than a you know, less than a minute to park it. Maybe 40 minutes. I mean 40 seconds, but even that's too much to hold up. Traffic. Uh, I'd rather not hold up anything if I don't have to. So now I am uh, 
there you go now the quality is gonna be different I just take off that stuff so the quality of the camera may, may be more better right now down on my phone all the time just one way for you to see if you're recording and I mean if you if you have your hair if you held your head up it's gonna show everything perfect I think I need a cigar I'm going to go back to the car get some Newport smoke some Newport smoke some Newport people looking at me like what is going on with this camera this camera is on his head this guy going crazy <laughs> Hey, I'm not recording some stuff man, for the media. Leave me alone. People, these people. You know, this social media bullshit thing is uh, driving people mad. You know, these people think we are out of our freaking mind. Maybe they are right. But I'm using this for uh, for reason that is to safe for safety and for dash camera to protect my to protect my valuable so it's not not just for nothing. So. <laughs> I think that's it. Make sure that make sure it's good. Uh, make sure this door is closed, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's closed. gonna be I'm gonna show you some of the amazing things in the coming weeks this mall over here Somali mall how Somali business operate in this town it amazes me uh, you know you know how a lot of uh, Marco a lot of Marco organism that how they survive you know conditions that are normally tough and in Somalis, they tended to thrive, they get successful very quickly together in, this, in the environment where they are competing again with each other. So they open a bunch of stores next to each other and uh, Competition, the price, everything is so amazing. <laughs> it should be okay. <laughs> She's all scared. So no parking sign, but uh, you know, the reason why they have that is to uh, cut down on the trees. There's really no trees on this in this area anyway. Why do they have a ticket on that car? Maybe it's not a good idea to be over here. I'm gonna cross over. I wanna get that three 
get dropped on me. I have a broken leg. So. Broken leg. <laughs> yeah, they're doing a lot of change. They're amazing things. This is uh, Minneapolis Public Housing. On this side, everything on this side. It's the public houses. And they do amazing things. A lot of work. And uh look what these guys do. Gamma has just blocking the sidewalk. So this is uh, Riverside uh, and they hire private security We got a lunatic Oh they're gonna put a fence around this whole establishment Do you see that? That's what they're planning to do They're basically copying what uh, public housing have been doing For their properties They're going to put the fences, the fences around this building. Uh, a lot of uh, happening in this building is normally criminal crimes committed by Somalis. Uh, again, it's other people and again, it's each other. What they do is they will jump people, rob them, stop them, and then run into this building and disappear into the stairs. <laughs> Easy for them to do that, and then the police comes. They can't find anyone because they will just disappear into the stairs. This building is huge. It's like a compass. There is no cameras in the stairs. There's no camera on the hallway. We can simply go to the uh, 25 floors and watch the police from there. And that's what a lot of them seem to be doing. Uh, but most of the crime is committed against their own people. Robberies, stabbing. About two, three hundred young, uh, not really young, but people uh, from the age of 18 to 35. All they do is just live off of the assistance and then go around. Hustling people for money. This guy. So this is the building, as you can see. This is the M building, and uh, it's I think it's thirty something floor. I used to live in there. I think I was on the fourteenth floor. The worst place to be. The elevator is so busy you can't catch them. You want to get downstairs, it will take a long time. A long time to do that. <laughs> Oh, this is some Iranian restaurant. This is the one Arab restaurant here. I've never seen it. Anything. 
defeated on the other side is normally dominated by Somalis. There's one Somali restaurant, I mean uh, Iranian restaurant. And then of course uh, there's a couple of Ethiopian restaurants, there is no West African restaurant of any kind in this neighborhood. A lot of daycare centers, you know, every building, you see this is a daycare building. This used to be a nightclub, 400 building. The other is uh, 400. And the uh, Somalis, they complain. And uh, initially, the crimes against the people that come to the nightclub is so huge that people are losing their wallets, their cars, car theft, carjacking is out of control. Eventually, the city take the license away from the liquor store, I mean from the bar. And. Uh, So they, they, they move in, they turn it into a mosque. Uh, some of this, uh, this is a school, some kind of a school. Giving tickets. Uh, see how I see a lot of tickets on the on the cars on this public. It used to be that there is no there is no meters. They put a meters on the road here. I think this is the thing about this the neighborhood. Call it whatever you want. If you go to the area where are a lot of uh, people that live like this building, but it's a rich neighborhood. They don't have meters, no meters at all. But in a poor neighborhood, they have meters. And, uh, man. Oh man, I'm gonna ask this guy. Locksmith. I wonder if he does locksmith. Uh, car door. I need my car door keys. It would be, it would be helpful. This is a mixed blood building. A lot of uh, radical left people come here and discuss about how they're gonna recruit for Hamas or some shit like that. Nothing useful going on on this place. days a week they give away food free food to poor people so if you don't have money and whatever the government is giving you is not enough to take care of the food people will line up behind the building over there to get some canned food and stuff like that that's the only good thing that is a reminder of this place 